So when we first got our movie, you know, we rigged it up with whatever, and for power, I think we used Anton Bauer, and, um, you know, the scene got really heavy really quick, and then you kind of lose the magic of the movie, because um, <clears throat> you got so much weight, and then now you got to get a steady cam vest or something, and then, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's not very movie. So um, we made these plates, these battery plates, and then we switch all our batteries over to the same battery that the movie uses, and then... Um, so you got this plate here, it's uh, curved on the bottom, so it's you know the same uh, diameter as the bar. There's also a rubber pad in there, and then it's just zip tied on so that um, it doesn't spin or twist or, or move around when you're filming. Um, we've got a switch here, and then uh, a little battery monitor here. But um, So this top one powers our <coughs> receiver and, uh, and the monitor. And then uh, down here we made another plate um, that goes on the bottom of the gimbal with another free fly battery. <clears throat> and um, this thing has hard stops on it so that if you replace a battery, you know, during filming, you don't have to rebalance because the battery is going to go back exactly where it was before. Um, and also, same thing as this thing's curved to, to, to uh, you know, where it meets the bars is curved and uh, rubber pads and then zip tied really tight so this thing never shifts or moves, or moves around. The same thing with this, uh, just a little switch on the side. Um, and then it's got, uh, got a meter here, so you know uh, how much more power you have on the battery. And then uh, this battery is powering our, uh, our Red Rock follow focus, and then also the transmitter for the Terra Deck. But um, <clears throat> we're actually going to change this because going from here, just uh, you know, 12 inches up to, to the top. Um, it actually loses signal a lot, and uh, the guys at Teradek actually told us their tech support said it's just too short of a distance, and that, that's why we're getting errors. So we're actually just going to use this. It's a super lightweight um, HDMI cable. We're just going to go straight from the camera up to um, up to the monitor, and then transmit from there to uh, you know the director and the, and the autofocus first AC. So that um, and this this HDMI cable is so thin. There's no drag. There's no weight really. It, uh, you can go from here up to there, and it doesn't change the balance at all really as you move around. Um, but anyway, those are our battery plates. Um, you know, they both uh, both battery plates have um, you know your uh, Anton Bauer connectors on them, or actually, I, sorry, your uh, PTAP connectors. There's two on this one. And then uh, this one here on the bot, uh, on the side, it has two. And they're all connected secure to the plate, so there's no like wobbling stuff. Because you know, by the time we rig these things up, there's so many wires and so many places for stuff to get snagged that um, we just try to make everything as secure as possible. So uh, works pretty good.